Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Nick Green back again with a brand new video today. If you guys saw my last two videos, know that currently I'm sick right now, so I'm going to be recording these next few videos using my microphone and webcam because I don't have the energy to just go crazy in front of my <laughs> normal camera. But so we're just making do with what I have, and I'm also going to speak a little bit quieter than my last two videos because it's currently nighttime and the people in my house are sleeping, and I had to get this video out eventually. So make that with that what you will. But today we're going to be continuing my series in which I review every single Marvel Cinematic Universe film up to the release of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Today we're reviewing one of my personal favorites. We're reviewing Captain America the Winter Soldier, which is the third movie in Phase 2. So Captain America the Winter Soldier was directed by Anthony and Joe Russo, which is the first Marvel movie they made, and they went on to make several others. We also have a lot of returning cast members as well, some newer cast members, and they all do a great job. So I'm just going to go about them individually. Chris Evans is back and better than ever as Steve Rogers in Captain America. I loved him in... Captain America the First Avenger as well as the Avengers and I think in Captain America the Winter Soldier thus far that we've reviewed as the MCU I think is his best performance as the character he really knocked it out of the park in my opinion in this one his character progresses in a way that is very compelling I thought Chris Evans just did an excellent job at portraying where his character is going you start to like understand him more now than you did the first time which I think is pretty amazing Sebastian Stan was brought back as Bucky Barnes and he's now returning as the Winter Soldier and he's a total badass Sebastian Stan was totally great in the first Captain America but he kind of comes back as a more complex character this time around and he does a great job in this one I think this is also his best performance thus far into the series as this character of Bucky Barnes and when I was reviewing my first Captain America re review I had to make sure not to mention in that review that Bucky is the Winter Soldier but now that we're doing the Winter Soldier review now you know Bucky's the Winter Soldier and Sebastian Stan kills it in this movie. Scarlett Johansson is also returning from the Avengers and she is great in this movie. It's, it's really, the movie really is between her and Chris Evans. I think that the two of them do a fantastic job together on camera. It, it's, it's interesting to see the two of them interact after having just met each other in the Avengers and having her only other like duo movie be in Iron Man 2. So it's cool to see her in a movie here with Captain America and the two of them do a great job. I think that they really are an underrated yet phenomenal duo. Samuel L. Jackson also returns as Nick Fury and he is fantastic in this movie and as what, as what I said previously with Evans and Johansson doing great Samuel L. Jackson does a great job working with both Chris Evans and Scarlett Johansson in this movie I think all three of them are just a great team in this movie and they all work together so so well and like I really, I really like the, the actors don't fake their chemistry they're really amazing in this movie the same also goes for Kobe Smulders as Maria Hill she has more to do this time around than she did in the Avengers like she was cool and interesting when they introduced in the Avengers but they didn't do too much of their character now she has more to do this time around it's cool to see them do more with the character as the uh, franchise is going on we, we also get introduced some new characters the first one of which being Anthony Mackie as Sam Wilson also known as Falcon and oh dude Anthony Mackie is just awesome in this role in my personal opinion, I think his character just gets better as the franchise goes on, but this movie is a great introduction to his character. He has uh, great uh, charisma. He gets along with Chris Evans very well in this movie, and just like, he's a new character, and they make you like him just right off the bat. And I think that they did a great job with the casting and the writing of Falcon, and Anthony Mackie does a terrific job in this role. They also get introduced as Emily Van Camp as Sharon Carter. She's great in the movie, too. If I'm not mistaken, she's Peggy Carter's granddaughter. I think, cause I think she's too old to be the daughter. So Peggy Carter's granddaughter, Sharon Carter... And we, she's only in this movie for part of it. She's more of a side character, but she does a great job in this movie. And we start to see her more uh, Marvel projects down the road. And Emily Van Camp does a great job in this role. She kind of has that same, uh, I don't want to say charisma, but she has that same kind of like presence that Haley Atwell had as Peggy Carter. I think that she does a great job in this movie. And for the villain in this movie, we have Hydra. But Hydra's like back, and they're stronger than ever. And it's really more Hydra how it would have been set in the modern times. And we have some new villains we have. Frank Grillo, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, as Crossbones. He's awesome, he's intimidating, he's strong, he's scary. Like, dude, that guy knocked it out of the park in this movie. And then as well as Robert Redford as Alexander Pierce, a more kind of political version of the leader of Hydra. But, oh, that guy, like, dude, these villains are awesome. You don't see them too much it, like it, throughout the universe. They're just here for this movie, but, oh, man, like, they're, they're great in this movie. And Hydra, like, was even scarier this time around than in the first movie, in my personal opinion. The film also does an excellent job of recreating the Captain America story in what would be modern times. It's a lot more of like a spy thriller this time around than it was a war th uh, kind of movie the first time. The first time Hydra was like kind of like a World War Nazi thing, and this time Hydra's just like a shady, like fascist, like business pretty much. And it's done in a very like, like spy thriller kind of way, and I think that this movie, like the approach that they did to do that was a great idea in my opinion. It made them like more... Like, like more serious this time in all honesty and like more scary because these people could literally be like right around the corner from you and you'd never know it so 
I don't know. I just <laughs> I just really think that the, the Russos knocked this movie out of the park. I think the script does a great job at making Hydra even more threatening in modern times than it did during war times, which is saying something. It really is. Of course, I can't talk about Captain America the Winter Soldier without talking about the action sequences. This has some of the most impressive action sequences as well as stunt work throughout the MCU thus far. I really do think that the Russos are like... Oh, they're so good whenever they have action sequences in their movies. There's some other stuff down the road, I won't spoil anything, that have amazing action sequences and stunt work, and this being their debut in Marvel, like it really shows how incredible these two directors are at making a movie with top-notch stunt work and camera work like that. Like, like I, I just I watched this movie the other day, and I'm looking at these action sequences, and I'm still just thinking to myself, oh, yeah, these look like these look awesome. Like, I don't think they're ever not gonna look great. They really fit the tone and the characters and. Like, words can't even explain it. I just think they did a phenomenal job with it. And also, this movie has less CGI than a lot of the other Marvel movies, but whenever it's there, it works very well. I think that the, the idea to use practical effects in this movie a lot more than the other ones paid off, considering it's a more realistic uh, spy thriller kind of movie. And I think that, like, I think that just the ideas and the approach that they used to make this sequel to the first Captain America was just a fantastic idea that was executed so well. I can't give the Russo brothers enough praise for that. My only flaw with this movie, I use quotes because it's not really a flaw in my opinion, it's just something that might not be for everybody, is that although it's a stellar sequel, it's not as lighthearted as the first Avengers. There's going to be some people who like Captain America the first Avenger more than the Winter Soldier that's like a little bit more lighthearted, and I totally get it. I mean, I don't blame those people at all. It's just that I think that objectively this is the better movie, and even though I feel like I have more fun with the first Avenger, I feel like this one just gets more emotions out of me. I think that they did a phenomenal job with this movie. The Captain America the Winter Soldier is by far one of the best sequels ever made, one of the best superhero sequels ever made, best superhero movies of all time, best Marvel movies. There's so many, like, of all times I feel like this movie has, and given the fact that the Captain America trilogy is one of my favorite movie trilogies of all time, that naturally makes this movie one of my favorite movies of all time. And of course, I'm going to have to give Captain America the, the Winter Soldier a 10 out of 10, and I'm going to give it a grade of an a plus. This is the second movie that I've given a 10 out of 10 rating to, and the sec as well as the second movie that I've given an A plus rating to. So I feel like a lot of people feel like I'm a big comic book movie fan, and I am, and I love Marvel, and I'm a huge fan of things and all that, but there's really only two movies thus far that I really feel are worthy of having a 10 out of 10 rating and an A plus. We'll see some more down the road, but I give these the ratings not because I'm the hugest fan of like all comic book movies. I give Avengers and The Winter Soldier 10 out of 10 and A plus because they're just they're well made. Like, I don't know what else you can say about it. These are, like, popular superhero movies that, like, live up to the hype and the expectations. I don't know what else I can say. That was it for the review today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you turn into my channel in just a few days to watch my review of the next movie within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Guardians of the Galaxy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified of my latest videos, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about Captain America the Winter Soldier. And, uh, yeah, that's been it. Peace.